that's it. You get so many variations. That's totally different. And you can get really creative with it. Yes, you can. Today, we're gonna to see a fun twist on transferring a laser or an inkjet printed photo. Yes, you can use either one, whatever you prefer. I get a lot of questions about transferring images onto painted surfaces. So yeah, today we'll see how it works. Okay, so let's start. Let's see how it works. So basically I'm going to show you two different ways to use this transfer method. And for the first method, we're simply going to paint our surface. Transfer method works with different surfaces like wood, canvas, metal, even glass. Basically, if you can paint it, you can probably transfer onto it. Since you're actually transferring onto the paint and not the surface itself. I'm going to transfer my photo onto this wood panel and I'm going to use acrylic paints to paint the wood surface. Basically, you can use any acrylics or watercolor paints you have. I'm also going to use stencils to make the surface more interesting. And if you're interested in this wonderful pack of stencils, there is a link to all the supplies I'm using today below this video. I'm transferring a laser printed photo today from Venice Beach, but remember, you can also transfer an inkjet photo. And as my transfer medium, I'm using matte medium, but again, you can use any other gel medium or glue. Coat the painted surface and the print with a good amount of the medium and place the photo face down onto the wet surface and press it down with your hands. You can also use the handle of your scissors to press down the print to the surface and let it completely dry for a few hours. But if you are short on time, you can use a hair dryer on low settings. Now use clear water to wet the back of the print until the photo is visible. Start at the corner, rub and carefully remove the paper without removing the image. Just the top of the paper. Let it dry and repeat wetting the back and removing more paper. You can also lightly use a soft sponge to help you remove all the paper. And if you like this process, you're going to love my book, The Mixed Media Photography Book. Check it out, it's on Amazon. And you're also going to like my new book, The New Mixed Media Photography Book. Check it out, it's also on Amazon. After you remove most of the paper, you need to seal the transfer with clear spray sealer or brush on varnish. Applying the varnish will help rid of any paper left over. And here's an example of a transfer onto a surface which was painted with watercolors. I really like this transfer technique since you can make so many variations on it and you can get really creative with it. The other great thing about this method is that you can transfer onto difficult surfaces just by painting them. Yeah, by painting those surfaces, you make them transferable. Transferable, yeah. Is that a word or I just made it up? 
So I didn't test all paints out there, but generally speaking, you can transfer onto acrylic or watercolor paints. Yes, you can. <laughs> but let me know in the comments below which paints you would like me to test, and maybe I'll do it. Maybe I'll test different paints in a future video. The next method is a little different, so let's see how it works. I'm using a laser photo from Paris, but again, you can use an inkjet print if you wish. This time, instead of painting the surface, we're going to paint the photo. When the painted photo is dry, use your transfer medium to transfer it as usual to the surface. And here is an example of painted inkjet photo transfer. So I didn't test every paint out there, but I, uh, <laughs> but I, I, <laughs> but you could, <laughs> works better for in, in <laughs> for photo transfer. <laughs> That was a mouthful. And we're gonna see how to something. <laughs> Images onto painted surfaces. Glass can <laughs> it's not the right order. You make them <laughs> so just keep that in mind. Come on, focus already. <laughs> I think that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it useful. And if you want to see more like this, click here and I'll see you next time. Bye.